Hello, my name is Nelson Ferreira and I'm a visual artist and an art tutor living in London and today I'm going to teach you about painting and drawing. To begin painting you need to master the, the art of creating a gradation. So to start with you dip your brush on a little bit of white spirit if you're working with oils. You mix it into the paint and the idea is to achieve a consistency that is somehow similar to, to butter in a warm day. Butter starting to melt. There we go. Now let's do the same for the yellow. A bit more white spirit. The buttery consistency will allow the color to, to spread easily while at the same time retaining its opacity. So it will still cover the paper, it won't be too liquid, it won't be too thin, but it's thin enough to be easily, easy to spread. So now we start by... So now we start by gently wetting the ground. The reason being that this is a very absorbent paper. I'm using uh, canvas paper. So you can spread with any brush. It just happened to be a fan brush this time. So after you made sure that the color is not being sunk in anymore, you can start applying it. So you rub some of the yellow. Now you rub some of the violet. Make sure that you have enough color. And then as it starts touching in the middle, try to keep it somehow thinner. Don't apply too much paint and allow the colors to gently gently because it's fine and start blending into one another if you put too much paint it, it's just way too easy to lose control and and overflow the paint might extend way too far than what you have intended initially so you put just a touch more yellow some areas. Let's bring it a bit further in. And now with the fan brush it's important that you go over and rub the whole of the surface. Sometimes you might need to dip it on a little bit of turps to clean the brush and then by reapplying it here and there you will be able to create a smooth gradation. Gradations are very important when you, when you paint nature because that's what happens in nature. Each time you have a smooth surface, you have unperceptible, unperceptible gradations between light and shadow.